How on earth did that dock turn into a train tunnel? Not important. Doesn't matter. Just get our red orbs. Grapple up these little glowing circular dealies. Green orbs add health. This is a, I like to call it a, a combo statue. You'll see them periodically throughout the game, and if you manage to fulfill the objective, in this one getting a B rank, you'll earn a hunk of blue orb, which adds to your maximum HP total. I have them all already. You can spend your red orbs here. You can buy upgrades. I have them all already. Or items. I don't have them all already, and I'll probably be using them a lot. Because this is hard. Have I mentioned it's hard? Let me guess. More demons. bad for the complexion. I burn he's never tan. When I came to this world 2,000 years ago, there was no such human as the Lights of Wanna make it another 2,000? Fire! Conqueror of the Fire Hell, huh? I didn't even know Hell came in different flavors. Maybe I don't know about the other ones because they don't have awesome PR. Anyway, Burial is one of those big slow enemies. But, like most big slow enemies, he does a crap ton of damage if he manages to hit you. He only slapped me once and I'm already missing an eighth of my health. That's bad news. He'll also use this attack about once or twice in the fight, so getting up close to him at all times is a bad move unless you don't really feel like winning. And I usually do. Yeah, take some of that right in the butt. You've got to be fast, because although he is big and slow, his, and his attacks are incredibly telegraphed, they do come out pretty quickly when he actually gets to, to using them. So I like to I like to keep my distance at least until the second time he's used that giant fire blast move. And I mean like keeping distance from this guy is pretty simple. A lot of people seem to have trouble with him though, mainly because they just go in guns blazing, or swords blazing rather. If your guns are blazing, you've got the right idea. At around half health, the uh you will start to summon these fire pillars out of the ground, which, thank you for that, which really adds emphasis to the whole always keep moving school of thought. Ha! Didn't get me that time! Okay, you did get me that time. Most bosses can also devil trigger if you don't kill them fast enough, and that is very bad. Like, it's really bad when they go devil trigger. Imagine the worst thing in the world and then double it. But another cool thing about bosses in this game is that once you've done a significant amount of damage to them, they'll often become weakened, and they'll be at the mercy of your Devil Trigger. Like so! If you happen to use your Devil Trigger while you use your Devil Bringer, 
it's usually very catastrophic for the boss. <laughs> like so! I get a real weird sense of satisfaction from throwing something that big across the screen. Don't ask. Man, thing drives me crazy, though. Just like he was. And he would be. I must restore my power. Powering down. Why didn't he just use that giant fireball form on me? There's not a whole lot you can do against something like that. Idiot boss. So stupid. But anyway, join me again next time on Let's Play Devil May Cry 4.